Yeah, Elias, that bread looks pretty good right now. Ah! What are you doing in here? Well, welcome to Virtual Scripture First. My name is Mark Nason, and this week we are talking about the fourth petition of the Lord's Prayer. So, why are you in an oven? Do you see that you're in an oven? Oh, that doesn't look good. Well, let me take care of this bread quick, and then uh, we'll get right to it. Well, glad you made it out. So, when I said fourth petition, just think about that as the fourth section, since we're in the fourth week of the Lord's Prayer. So, do any of you know what the fourth section is of the Lord's Prayer? Would it help if I went like this? Yes. So, it is, give us this day our daily bread. And we are actually doing some awesome magnets that uh, say daily bread, uh, if you participate in the treasure hunt. So one of the first jobs that I had actually as a high schooler was in a bakery. And I got to taste cut cookies, which was probably the best part of all, slicing bread and putting bread in bags. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get down to business. So today we're talking about Matthew chapter 6, verses 11. Give us this day our daily bread. But what does that mean? Does it mean that God gives us a loaf of bread every day? Maybe. What about, what type of bread should it be? What if, what if I don't like the crust? What if it's a croissant? What if I don't like croissants? Or, or if it's white toast? Is it white toast? But what if you're gluten free? Or you only like wheat bread? Or is it a hot dog bun? Or is it a pizza crust? There are so many different options. So when we pray these things, we aren't only talking about bread, thank goodness. No, we're talking about all the daily needs that we have in this life. So what are some basic ones? Well, we have food, we have clothing, we have a shelter. But what are some other needs that may not be as obvious? Think about it for one second. Yeah, so one need could be friends and neighbors, good leaders, good weather. We don't want to always have, be having to deal with thunderstorms or tornadoes or flooding all the time. So God is active in all of these things. And we are praying this prayer so that our, these good things are not interrupted. Our daily needs are being met and fulfilled by God. So when we pray, give us a stay our daily bread, we're not only asking for one thing, it's like we're asking for a bunch of different things rolled up into one. We could say, for example, we could pray, dear God, please give us great, uh, great weather, great sunshine, mild breeze, so we can be outside safely with our friends. Or we could say, give us, God, our daily bread. We, another way we could say, uh, would be, dear God, please please give us safety as we're traveling down the road or as we're crossing the street on the crosswalk. Or we could say, God, please give us this day our daily bread. Or lastly, another uh, example, we could say, God, please, please help the crops grow and bring good weather and health to the farmers so that they can harvest the ground and so that we can enjoy a tasty meal from, from the earth. Or we could say, give us this day our daily bread. So when we're praying to God, we are recognizing that we have a God, that God provides for us. God gives us his promise that he will protect us and look after us and provide for all of our needs. And as people of God, we know that we can call on him in any hour, any moment, any, any time of the day, and God will listen. We have been given a promise by God that he will take care of us. That is what we are praying when we pray, give us this day our daily bread. It doesn't mean that things are always going to work out the way that we thought we they would or that we'll always get a present that we wanted, but God is there listening to you. He, he's providing for your needs in, in ways that you would never even expect. 
God wants to hear our prayers, and he wants us to call on him for our daily needs. Please pray with me. Hey God, thank you for providing us with our daily bread. You provide for all of our needs, each and every day. Let us give thanks and praise to you for our friends and family, food and shelter, clothing and good weather, for government and our safety, and all the other wonderful things in our life. In your name, amen. Well, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again next week. Have a great day.